Welcome everyone to today's insightful discussion on the art of being admirable. We can all attest to the fact that we live in a world where negativity dominates our daily lives and so it's essential to rise above and embody the qualities that inspire others. Today we'll explore six powerful keys to unlock your inner charm and become someone people truly admire, not because of what you have but because of who you are, your personality and the intention you carry around. We're going to look at the simple yet transformative act of smiling from cultivating one's mindset from the art of spreading kindness from being true to oneself we'll delve into the secrets that will not only enhance your life but also make a lasting impact on those around you so get ready to embark on this inspiring journey of self-improvement and discover how you can effortlessly radiate admiration in every aspect of your life my name is Juliana Martin and on this channel I create hair tutorials makeup tutorials skincare in fact general beauty stuff and then i also share general life experiences and lessons like we are about to do today so come aboard now before i tell you what smiling has done for me personally i need you to quickly do this exercise with me close your eyes make the peace sign chin up take a deep breath and whilst you are taking a deep breath, reflect on all the beautiful things in your life and all the things that motivate you and make you wake up every blessed day. All the good people around you, the beautiful things that happen to you. Just think about those. You realize that they are automatically making you smile, right? Now I need you to breathe out gently. <sighs> yes. And that is one way to smile. Because, you know, by thinking about all the things that, that are dear to your heart and the things you, you deeply care about, you are expressing an art of gratitude. And when you are always in a state of gratitude, you don't ever find yourself frowning or with a grave face. In Kumasi, we'll call it bonyo face. Like, you don't have any humor surrounding the muzzles on your face you get it i totally understand some people don't have the natural smiley face but you can actually do it and i'm going to use myself as an example growing up i had a very hard childhood <laughs> difficult childhood you understand and so i found myself being sad all the time i was just trying to express how i felt in the moment most of the times so even at times that i am not sad automatically my face would show that I'm sad. You would meet me and then you would ask me, what is wrong with you? Are you sad? Have you been crying? You know, that kind of thing. Until I went to senior high school and I found that so many people used to take pictures and I realized that when I stand by my friends and I take a picture with them, I realized that the smile that I used to smile in those pictures they were not smiling like the Gen Z people would say my smile was not smiling you understand it would be given fake it would be given not interested it would be given forced you understand and so there was this girl that I really admired I used to admire her so much because all her pictures used to be so beautiful she used to be so adorable her name was Justina hi Justina if you're watching me hi I don't think she even knows I used to admire her smiles all the time especially when she takes pictures right so I started practicing how to smile like literally I went to learn so what I used to do was every morning before I go to class I would stand in front of the mirror and then I would smile like I'll try and then smile and see if the smile I'm smiling is looking good on my face do you understand what i'm trying to say so even if you don't know how to smile you have to practice how to smile because it's one of the ways you can open up your atmosphere and that is how you'll be approachable that is how people will find you to be an easygoing person so indeed bit by bit i learned how to smile and today smiling has opened so many doors for me everything i do and the people i meet the first thing I'm being told is I like your smile. I like your personality. Recently, I was going to withdraw money and when I reached the, the fuel station, I realized that they had guarded it with some ropes. And so if you, if you have to move in, the security guard has to open it for you. Like he literally has to untie the rope for you for you and then whatever car you are bringing in so that you can enter if he doesn't do that you have to park somewhere you have to park outside the building somewhere and walk all over to the atm station so before i came out of the uber as soon as i put my neck outside the door like when i saw the security guard i was like offer like literally means uncle right i was like uncle good afternoon you know like smiling good afternoon I was like good afternoon and then he said, oh, mommy, be a mama, let me open it for you. And then you open it for us and we just entered. You know, imagine I was like, the bono face, like with a grave face sitting in. He wouldn't have even looked at my face. He would have just looked that on because there were so many people who had parked outside and then walked to the ATM station. 
but I smiled at him and you could tell the brightness on his face, you understand? So he opened it for us and then I went in and when I was coming back, I just tipped him something very small. It is an act of kindness. It's not corruption. It is not bribery. It's just an act of kindness, right? You understand? And me learning how to smile has like given me so many opportunities just like this one. And you will think that this is not anything but simple, simple acts of kindness go a long way. And you can start that with smiling. So my dear, smiling can enhance your interactions and then create a welcoming atmosphere. It will also foster deeper connections between you. So when you go to a conference, it will help you to establish networks so easily. Just by smiling so easily, you meet a superior and then you hi doctor so so and so hi doctor so so and so by just by smiling and then they themselves will initiate a conversation you don't have to say a word i promise you i am in the corporate space i go for a lot of events and i am telling you i've met big big people at the airport because i've traveled alone so many times so just <laughs> listen to me learn how to smile and connections will be created in the most unforceful way in the like in the most unplanned way and you will be glad you did so start smiling it doesn't also mean that as soon as you step outside you're going like <laughs> that's what i'm saying but then everything should be done in moderation i hope you understand secondly you need to cultivate a positive mindset so in jhs i did a little bit of agriculture and in agriculture cultivating a plant simply means fostering the growth of the plants right making sure that the plant doesn't lack anything you are intentional about um ensuring that the plant goes through the process of photosynthesis successfully and it's the same thing as cultivating your mind you feed your mind with positive things you feed your mind with things that will nurture the growth of your mindset you see our mindset shapes our experiences and perceptions of the world as a man thinketh so is he proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 honey so in it we even say garbage in garbage out so what you feed your mind with is what will reflect on the outside of you when you nurture negativity you become bitter and so you would always see the darker side of things instead of the lighter side because at the end of the day what you are imagining or thinking about are all filled with negativity and you know that it's very very easy for negativity to creep into your mind and you need to learn some practical strategies to overcome them and when i say practical strategies i mean being aware of your thoughts just being conscious of the things you think about and then after you become aware of them you challenge your those thoughts you know whether those thoughts are factual or your thoughts are just being distorted so instead of entertaining the, the negative thoughts you replace them with things that are positive so for example you know that you work slowly okay and so it's something you don't like it's something you are trying to overcome but then instead of cultivating a habit of keeping those um worrying worries positive you're always like ah oh, i don't tell, i don't like how slow i am i'm never going to finish this work on time oh media salam it's as for me i am so slow i'm going to finish this work in two days when we see is finishing it in a day or when ama is finishing it in 45 minutes or you are someone who is quite slow when it comes to grasping things or learning things right so instead of cultivating a person mindset you are always like oh i'm too dumb to learn this quickly i'm too dumb i'll not be able to, i'll not be able to do this oh i'm too dumb i can't do my own makeup i'll never be able to learn how to do my own makeup i can't braid my own hair i'm too dumb for this or that i lack creativity skills so like you water down yourself like you, you see yourself so low and then you talk down on yourself most of the time so those are all part of negative thoughts too negative thoughts are not just saying things that are demonic or things that are cursive in nature you understand chalking down on yourself is part of negative thinking and negative attitude so instead of saying all those things you can say i know i'm slow but i'm definitely going to finish this on time i know i'm not a epic learner but i know i'm going to learn i'm going to succeed i'm going to be able to finish this on time i'm going to learn this and i will be able to pass my exam you know so t replace or reverse those negativity into positives so that at the end of the day what you are doing is that you are nurturing your brain to come to a level of not recognizing anything that is negative even though it will be there you understand so even though the negativity will be there but you are training your mind to ignore those negativities and focus on the positives that is what you are training your mind to do all this is a gradual process you won't wake up one day and then you say hey i've developed a positive mindset you know you would have to go through a gradual process because at your big age <laughs> your brain has probably developed especially if you're above 25 years your brain has completely developed and so um it will take some time for you to 
and train your brain but it's not rocket science it's not something that is above you at all you can definitely do it okay so gradual process gradually train your mind and then reverse every negative thoughts into positive thoughts and so when you practice all this your mindset can influence not only your own life but also inspire and motivate people around you and by motivating the people around you or inspiring the people around you you are automatically creating and admiration for yourself. People will see you and, the, and all they think about is, oh, this girl is so positive. I like her positive aura. I'm using myself as an example because I'm a, I'm a classical example of these life lessons, okay? So like when I post videos as this, and especially on my TikTok and my Instagram, I'll see comments like, Jules, I like your positive aura. You have such positive energy. You inspire me so much. So automatically, like, you create that aura around you and people feel it, you know, the energy you have is what you give outside. You cannot give what you don't have. And so, my dear, try to nurture your mindset in such a positive way that people around you can feel it and they'll be inspired and motivated by you. And in the same way, influence your life and impact your own life as well. And thirdly, you should learn how to be kind. Kindness is a universal language and it, it transcends barriers. It breaks barriers. It breaks walls. You understand? It also touches hearts. You know, I've never seen anyone who hasn't been moved by kindness. If any one of you has never been moved by kindness, I, 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 I don't know. Are you, a, are you a witch? Are you a wizard? Because... Honey, by being kind, you demonstrate compassion, you demonstrate empathy, you demonstrate generosity, you know? And by doing these things, you transform lives. I think by now, the internet has exposed so many of us to what um, kindness has led so many people into and how kindness has transformed so many people's lives, especially with the genuine content creators who have come out with so many kids and um, various forms of pranks. And, you know, kindness also creates harmony in relationships and let me start from marriage you know because <laughs> honey you have no idea how bad you need kindness in your marriage you have no idea and it is not only really one-sided it has to be both both of you like it has to be intentional that is why it says learn how to be kind so it's not like you are created with kindness the human being is naturally born with sin you understand our, our first instinct for us is to re immediately react to things but then by the holy spirit and by the grace of god we learn how to be able to cultivate some of these things and with kindness you if you if you are not kind in your marriage the marriage is on the edge of a hum uh -huh. <laughs> imagine i'm a content creator as i'm sitting here and i'm filming i also have a nine to five job that i do so i juggle content creation and work and then house chores as a wife so i also perform my house duties or my wife duties you understand i have to juggle all these three together assuming i do not have a kind husband i don't think i'll be able to do this in Aww. fact when i got married that is how my content even got better because I have been blessed enough to have somebody who is also willing to be kind towards me. And I am also willing to be kind towards him. So in cases where I am not able to step in to perform my wife duties, he is able to step in and do it for me. And in cases where he's not able to step in as a husband duty, I would also step in to do it. So we interchange duties at one point in time and then we help each other. If your partner doesn't see the need to help you, then he lacks empathy because he doesn't think you'll be tired enough. He doesn't think what you are doing is a Herculean task enough for you to complain or for you to not be able to complete them. You understand? So kindness is a key thing or is a key factor in your relationship. Now, if you are not married, you think about your roommates, think about your neighbors in the house, think about your group of friends, right? If your group of friends or you yourself are not kind, the relationship is really, really going to suffer because if your roommate is not kind enough and he wakes up in the night and starts playing music, he or she is not showing compassion, he or she is not showing empathy, he or she is not being generous to you because you are fast asleep and then he's blowing music up and down and disturbing everybody around, including you in the room. So it's called, it, it pertains to everybody. And another thing about her kindness, you have to offer help if you can. Like, offer help if you can. Be be generous. You know, be generous to one another. Tip if you can. If you, like I was giving the example of the filling station guy or the security guard at the, at the fuel station. Um, is it fuel station or filling station? I don't know. Fuel station. 
fuel station. <laughs> so when I was done, I just gave him something. I am just expressing my gratitude for him. You understand? Even though that is his job, but I am pleased for what he has done for me. He wasn't obligated to, right? He wasn't obligated to, but he did it for me anyway. If somebody does a service to you, even if you pay the person in full according to how the person charged you, and you are so much pleased with the service, tip the person. It doesn't hurt at all. And it doesn't have to be a huge amount. One CD can go a long way. It can brighten the person's day. You have no idea. And you can even show your appreciation verbally. If you don't have the means to tip or give someone, just show your appreciation verbally. It doesn't hurt to say thank you. I'm so grateful. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Oh, really? I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I'm sorry. You are showing empathy, you know? So it shows, it gives people the impression that, oh, this girl is not selfish. This guy is not selfish. This guy looks out for others. He shows empathy, you know, he's compassionate, you know? So that's how you gradually earn the admiration of people. And we have no idea where that would take you, you know? <laughs> now, the next thing I would say is compliment people. I was headed to work one morning. I sat in an Uber and I realized that the car was smelling so nice. And then like, it was so neat. The inside was so, so, so neat. So, I mean, I couldn't help it. I'm one person. If I see it, if it is nice, I'm going to say it. I'm going to compliment you, okay? So, I was like, ah, Charlie, your car, the view I had, the inside, it suits me. And then I was like, really? Thank you. It was like, it was as if you didn't know the car was fresh. The car was smelling nice. He was like, Charlie, you have no idea how brightened you have made my day to be. He told me he was having a very bad day and he actually slept in a bad mood and so it had affected his morning a bit. He was even contemplating on coming to work, you know, because as a driver, you need to smile up and chin up, you know, and then welcome your passengers. So he was really, really in doubt when he started and I was his first passenger. So me telling him that really, really brightened his day and you could tell the smile, like he was smiling so like, oh. <laughs> Like I felt, I felt so connected. I like, I felt so happy within me that I had uttered that, you know. So when you see something, just say it. Compliment the person. When you see that somebody is wearing a particular dress, don't feel too big to say, Charlie, your dress is nice. Don't feel too big to say, Charlie, today your earrings, they Charlie, no be here. It is it, it, nice. Like okay, give them fans. You understand? Give them, it's nice. Just say it. If you see my hair, oh Julie, you are looking good. Oh my God, Julie, your hair is nice. Julie, your makeup is nice. Like just say it. And make sure that you are saying it with all genuineness. Don't just be going about and then be faking your compliments all year round. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But, you know, genuine compliments have the power to brighten someone's day and boost their self-esteem. So you increase your confidence. Sometimes you have no idea what people may be going through. And so, like, that genuineness would quickly brighten their day. And when people achieve good things, celebrate with them, wish them congratulations. If you have to call them, call them. If you see them in person, shake their hands, hug them. You know, be genuinely happy for people. And even when you do that, you are not just trying to make yourself admirable, but then you're also creating an open heart for yourself. You're also making your, your mind and your heart free of evil thoughts, free of jealousy, free of enviness. You understand? Because naturally, sometimes when you see your colleague doing well, the human tendency will, te will start feeling jealous or some kind of enviness. Do not allow that to creep into your heart. Don't allow that to creep into your mind. Just open up yourself and you tell your mind, ah, I'm so happy for this person. It will be my turn soon. I'll be I'm so happy for this person. I'm celebrating this person. Then automatically, all your body will start connecting and they will still respond to make you happy. You understand? So hug them, call them, shake their hands, you know, celebrate your, their achievements with them. You understand? And the next thing I would say is do not take things too personal. I thought I was in total control of my emotions and for social media. Oh my God. <laughs> People will go every length and breath to suck the demon out of you. They will try you. See, like I mentioned at the beginning, our natural instinct when somebody does something is for us to immediately react. That is how we were born. And so developing emotional resilience is crucial to navigating the ups and downs in this life. You have the power to control whatever people say to you, whether to have impact in your, in your reaction or to be still and calm down, all right? <laughs> One of the things you can really do that to be able to detach yourself from negativity and then also embracing constructive feedback, okay? So it is not everything that is intended to bring you down. People genuinely want to correct you, especially when you are wrong, okay, or when you are in the wrong. So don't take things too personal. I am so glad that social media has taught me a lot 
and at this moment if i am not pleased with something that somebody would say a particular comment either i will totally disregard it or i will block the person or i will add it to my filtered words so that i won't even see it in my comment section at all so there are so many ways of overcoming the triggers you understand so anything that triggers you make sure that you are detaching yourself from that entity don't allow it to creep into your system because it's definitely going to have a tool on you and that's when you are going to react okay so you need to train yourself to a point where you can you are emotionally resilient to be geared back <coughs> power cut <coughs> Uppercut, lower cut. <laughs> so that you keep bouncing everything that has the potential to kick you down. And then next, I think this is the last but not least. Be honest with yourself and to people. Honesty is a true virtue. It builds trust, it builds authenticity, it builds self-awareness. Don't force yourself to be who you are not. Don't force yourself to be a personality you have no idea about so being honest with yourself also means that you know your strengths you know your weaknesses you have your own moral values you have your principles you have your standards you know the things you can do within your strength you know you can do them so you don't just accept to do things because you are probably shy of the person or giving you the task or because you want to get there if you can do it you can do it if you can't you can't if you can give it a try you can give it a try but also making sure that you are communicating correctly that yes i'm not able to do it i'm just giving it a try so that at the end of the day you don't compromise on the trust that people have for you and then disappointing them in the end when you're also honest with yourself it gives you some kind of freedom you know you don't have any trouble with anyone because at the end of the day you are being your true self you are being your authentic self just as I'm sitting here, I'm being my true self. I'm not imitating anyone. Even though I'm learning from other people, people that I admire, I am not copying their personality. I'm not copying the way they talk. I'm not copying the way they do whatever that they do. I am just learning from them. There's a huge difference between copying and then learning. You understand? So understand your strengths and weakness and live in your own authenticity. That is how you'll be able to embrace your true self and whatever that comes your way, you'd see the genuineness to be proud of yourself. And people also see it. If you are being genuine with yourself, people also see it. And what I said, set standards for yourself. It means that, like, let your yes be yes. And let your no be no. <laughs> Don't be a people pleaser. As much as you want to be kind, you want to be compassionate, you want you are learning how to smile and you are smiling with everybody, it doesn't mean you should be bowing to people. It doesn't mean you should lie down for people to walk on you. No, 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 no. It doesn't mean be doing yes a massa, yes a massa. There's a downside to everything. You have to make sure that you are balancing every little thing such that your yes is your yes and your no is your complete no and no is a complete statement it is a complete sentence if it is a no it is a no okay you don't have to explain yourself sometimes saying no does require you to explain yourself especially when it comes to work you understand if you are being given a particular task and you are able to um, do it and look crampo you don't have to say no completely you just have to explain why you cannot do this task at this time but rather um plead for extra time so that you'll be able to do it at a time that you think you would be available uh -huh. so you don't just go about saying no because you heard it from me <laughs> i'm sorry please but do things in moderation okay <laughs> thank you very much yeah so be honest with yourself um don't compromise don't do not compromise don't say that e this person is so fresh this person is so beautiful and so um um i feel that the person is my hero so i have to um say yes no matter what that he or she is saying no no that's that, that that's not how you do it i can i can go in depth on how to be able to overcome um people pleasing attitude you understand if you want me to explain that in detail let me know okay so that we go into that as well but for now no Otherwise, people will take undue advantage of you. Don't do that. Don't do that, okay? To climax it all, remember by incorporating these six principles, being learning how to 
smile, learning how to be kind, learning how to compliment, being honest with yourself, cultivating a positive mindset. You can not only become a more admirable individual, but also create a positive ripple effect, inspiring others to embrace these qualities as well. This brings us to today's episode of Juliana Shares, and I hope it was helpful. Let me know if this was helpful. And also, if you have topic suggestions, I would love to know and I would love to um, speak about them because I mean, I love talking. So, <laughs> yeah, let me know in the comment section. I also have so many videos in my Juliana Share playlist that can be beneficial to you, such as how to do with pressure to get married and give bread, such as three things you should never say to people or ask people. So many videos that you can watch in my Juliana Shares playlist. I cannot wait to meet you again. If you are interested in this hair tutorial, as you can see, <laughs> I've already posted it. Please do check it out as well. And you know, the makeup was done right here, so you saw how it went. I also have so many videos on TikTok and Instagram that will be of interest to you. So please do go and follow on those pages as well. I'm going to see you in my next video. So have a blessed day. I wish you all the best and stay admirable. Don't be a pain in the ass. All right, all right I'm going to see you. Bye. <laughs> Mwah! <laughs>